Well, now live pictures from Washington, D.C., where the nation will watch tonight as President Obama delivers what will be his second to last State of the Union address. In addition to the now majority Republican Congress, there will also be a number of local community members in attendance tonight as well. The new at six, Kelly King, talks with a local university president who will be among them. Kelly? Mark, tonight is a first for Clark State President Dr. Joe Alice Blondin. She says being invited to the State of the Union is like a dream come true, and she's just pinching herself right now. She came to D.C. for the first time 34 years ago as a tourist. She says this time she's looking forward to representing our area. I never thought I would be attending a State of the Union. I always thought I'd be a tourist here or uh, going on my hill visits as part of my position. But this is really an incredible opportunity. Speaker of the House John Boehner extended the invitation to Dr. Blondin earlier this month as a guest of Ohio's 8th Congressional District. Dr. Blondin says Clark State plays a vital role in helping students match skills to employment needs. She's hoping the president will address the affordability and importance of community colleges tonight. We are the go-to for training and higher educational opportunities. Ohio is a leader in the country in terms of understanding how important graduation completion and credentials are to the workforce. So Dr. Blondin tells me the only person more excited than her is her mother. Among other local guests attending, owners of a Greenville Cake and Coffee Company, a Troy surgeon, Camden business owners, a med student from Wright State, and the owner of a Springfield Metal Company. Kelly King, 2 News, working for you. And you can watch the State of the Union address and the GOP response right here tonight on WDTN starting at 9 p.m. to be followed, of course, by 2 News at 11.